Dan from Bizarre Home Decorating. Uh, we're here with one of my favorite products, especially for patio doors, is the Hunter Douglas Duet Vertiglide system. And what this allows you to do is, if you have two patio doors or three patio doors together, if you wanted to have one door open but have the other two closed, or have it be a split stack, this has the ability to cover large expanses with only having a six and a half inch stack on each side. Very versatile. It can either come together in the middle or it can operate just like your patio door and go side to side, left to right. Now, the issue is, now look, it's not staying where I want it to and it's moving. And when it moves all the way to the end, I have this cord hanging down. How do I fix this? There's a very easy and simple solution. I'm going to take down the valance here to help show you. You do not have to take this valance down at home. You can if you'd like to. All I'm going to do is I'm going to push up on the valance and pull out. Push up, pull out. And then as I did the last one, the middle one came. Set it off to the side. And now I'll take the cord and I'll trace it around. Comes to this end and then it comes back. And it's eventually going to end up somewhere right at a plastic tensioner. And what you're going to want to do is find this tensioner and slowly take it from where I always trace it. So now we need to go further this way. And what this is going to do, it's going to add tension to the shade. And by adding that tension, now the cords stay up. And when you go to move your shade, it'll stay wherever you leave it. You can keep going, move it to the end. And now it stays there. You want to have this open only a little bit. You can have your door open a little bit. Still have privacy or even sun protection in your window. My patio door faces south. We like to have the door open a little bit, but then keep some of that hot sun from coming in during the hot summer months. And then open it up. One thing I'm not sure if you noticed, as this closed up, there's a little bit of a gap here on the bottom that's different from the gap on the top. Meaning this moving rail or the traveling rail is not level. There's a very easy and simple solution for this fix, which is take your number two Phillips screwdriver. You could push this fabric in gently on the top and you'll see on this truck, there'll be two screws. And what you're gonna wanna do is adjust one of the screws and try not to move the fabric and you'll see now as I'm making my adjustments let me adjust this one it's gonna inside there as you adjust the two screws it's either gonna go like this or like this and you want to get level and so that way this will become level then so I'll screw this in a little bit tighten up one and then loosen up the other. So I'm gonna wanna. So that one's making it worse. So I'll loosen or I'll tighten this up here. And now I'll loosen this one. Move it. And as that now, as we go through, it'll be level. And that is how you adjust. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, sometimes it's an easier adjustment, but that's how you would level out the moving rail or add the tension on so that the shade um, operates the way you want it to. I'm gonna take my valance and inside of here, this groove here, I wanna get the top groove of the vertical uh, of the vertiglide valance bracket and then as once I get it in there 
just snap it into the bottom. Make sure all three are in there. And there you have it. You're back to normal. Simple, easy fix. If you have any questions, get, give us a call here at Bizarre Home Decorating, 262-784-2448 or bizarrehdc.com.